I'm not from the Caribou, but I'm from the interior. I was born in Kells, and uh, I grew up around mines all my life. I actually lived below a tailings pond for five years of my life. Um, this matter really is a great concern of mine as well, and that's why yesterday, as soon as I heard the news, I rushed up here to the site to assess the situation and support the, re the recovery team at the mine site. Imperial accepts that it's our responsibility to put this right, and we will diligently, diligently to do so. Our first priority was, and continues to be, the health and safety of our employees and our neighbors. So we have to work hard to make sure we don't hurt anyone. I know yesterday some of the media um, wanted a comment from me, and I appreciate that that might have uh, generated some frustration with my unavailability, but I'm here today to try to provide you with uh, information about this event, our efforts to date, and our plans moving forward. And I'll answer your questions after this brief statement. The event at Mount Pauly is now stabilized. Mine personnel, contractors, ministry officials, and the Caribou Regional District are working together to ensure that no more setbacks are experienced. Working with the ministries of environment, and forests, we are now mobilizing crews and equipment to collect and remove the floating debris from Quinnell Lake. Mount Pauly Mine has experienced a major setback just as it was entering into a promising phase of its life, a phase of extended operations. This breach released approximately 10 million cubic meters of water into Pauly Lake and Quinnell Lake. Holly Lake rose about 1.5 meters above its normal height, and steps are being taken to pump some of that water into the Springer pit so we can start dropping that water level back to normal. Based on the volume of Quinell Lake, there's no visible rise in the uh, elevation of Quinell Lake. We know Hazel Pine Creek was scoured through its entire length, leaving eroded banks. Access roads of this creek have been blocked, and the creek is being posted for no access. And we ask uh, all the public to please stay away from Hazel Line Creek at this time. Water quality is a key issue affecting the health and well-being of the surrounding community. The Ministry of Environment have and continue to collect samples in Quinell Lake. We expect a good outcome from this sampling because the water discharge in this event already almost meets drinking water standards. Specifically, and I've, I've heard about some of the media about mercury, we have never detected mercury in the tailings pond at Mount Pauly. There's no mercury there. Another one that I've heard talk about is arsenic. Arsenic levels of one, are one-fifth of drinking water. We also regularly perform toxicity tests on our water in our tailings facility, and it is not toxic to rainbow trout. We do know, however, that suspended solids from the tailings will need to settle out before our water meets um, suspended solids criteria. Observations at the mouth of Hazel Pine Creek on, on yesterday indicated the solids were settling rapidly. I would like to personally thank everyone who's been involved in the recovery efforts, especially the Caribou Regional District and the provincial agency who have responded quickly to help us and I will continue to provide you with updates as soon as they're available. So now I'll, I'll take some questions.